can, to play. can buy diffuser against the punk. So I think that's probably one of the best picks they can have. For EG, kind of still open, right? They could yep. pick this free time actually in the mid. Yeah. Ye S Samel, Samel left to go jungle, just try and like efficiency farm with Arrow and gave Puck almost a half level. Uh, actually, he's a little bit more than a half level advantage over Samel. Now Crit wants to come back in again. A quick torrent is not going to connect. Phase shift. Samel jumps forward. It's going to be a dream coil. He'll dodge the arrow. The stun is out from Crit Moon. He thinks about jumping away, but he doesn't need to anymore. That attack up the hill. Crit's low. The stick charges. The damage from Jabs. The call burn. It barely reaches, but barely is enough. Jabs is low. It's going to be a two for one trade off. Both at the mid, Moon is the only man standing as he lost his clockwork and Fierce Rotation came in way too late. Not much he could have done there. But then Maneski try and capitalize up at the top. Mushi teaming up to attack into Arteezy. The damage he's sticking from both Gale as well as Sting. Mushi too close to the tower. He'll live, however, if Magic One Charge is giving him the life to survive. The puck did not work well. I think they tried to like X him into the arrow, but there was some miscommunication there. It didn't look like he got stunned. Maybe he got stunned. Yeah, that blast from Universe is nice. It's not gonna stop. Jab to interrupt. 50. The goal, however, is a little bit more of a different story. Vanesky for everything they've earned gives him a 3k lead. And then looking for more. Chasing down after the Chaos Knight. He's gonna actually try and jump out with Phantasm. Not gonna work. The clockwork comes. Lock in aren't easy. And Moon will arrive to get a two-man dream call. They'll take this on and both of support. Universe, what do you really do here? He puts down the boss. The Crippifying Clockwork. So he'll take decent damage, but it doesn't stop Moon from diving on the tier one tower. They'll easily pick up fear. Moon with his double kill. Eyes eyes. When, when you're a lich and you're behind, the sacrifice doesn't work. Jab's trying to close the distance on Universe. Well, he might have the net worth, he doesn't have the experience yet to hit level 6, but Moon, Dream Call is already back off cooldown. Here comes Monkey King jumping forward. Stick slaps Universe. Fear wants something in return, and maybe they can get it. Monkey King, no way to jump out, so it's a big kill for Samael to rotate in and take. And with the haste rune, the chase can continue. He's got a bottle charge for sure, at least give him the arrow, knowing that Moon's to jaunt himself away. And maybe he could have called to help out the Monkey a little bit more, but kind of decided to just peace out ASAP. I'm not sure what he's saving up for in his goal, which is 1400 at the moment. Uh, it's a lot of, lot of money to work around with. Well, that's a nice pickup for Samantha. Normally, you build Aether into uh, anything else, but he needs to force that first game because he's risk clock. But mm -hmm. the problem is, he also. <sighs> Goodbye, RTC. He's dead no matter what happens here. Yeah. Be it denied or be it just kill straight out, or just kill straight out. Ice, ice, ice will claim him. Damage. We talk about fucking his strengths a lot, but one of his weaknesses, he has two armor right now. That's, especially with the Tranquil, he has strength right now. Oh, oh boy, the hook shot's up as well, and it's no! Jams! He saw both of them almost stationary. Cricket solo killed up by Ice, Ice, Ice. There we go. Uh, if they kill me, then so be it. They're just wasting time, but I think any kill is going to be a huge positive for EG. Oh, oh the jump. They go hook shot. It was a trap on top lane. And that's easy wall fall. Lich ulti flying forward as it bounces back into the creep wave. And Jams creates space with his cog. The Lich only has done enough. In fact, Moose just jumps back in once more. The ship will hit Jams. And thanks to Universe's drain, they'll end his killing spree. And the park has bailed up a little bit further north. Now he's jumped back in again, looking for the kill. Fear, welcome back to Dota. Stuff on the bottom, that's a pretty sneaky absorb that will unlikely get rewarded. And Their pressure is hard. Here goes Jaws, perfect hook shot. Jabs still top forward. Fear, attempting to deny to the mud golem. But look at the prize. It's like when you play Wheel of Fortune, you end up losing at the main event, don't get any money, and you get to play the board game later on, just as a reminder your entire family that no, I didn't win the car. I did didn't get the to the CK to really function on the off lane. Well, the, wh to, where do they go? There's no home for them. Yeah, but can you just the CK versus the Monkey King? Yeah. Oh, Alright, no. Fear's gonna get ripped apart. That's a nice turret into double ship, but thanks to the Wukong command, EG having a hard time getting in close, especially when you get that Nova off. Samel's gonna end up ticking down. They get the Monkey King, so Arteezy gets money, but Mushi gets a triple kill. And EG are all dead. That was never really a possibility for them, and after that, it just went pretty poorly. Because Punk was great at fighting great at pushing out, but him, everyone's dying. Okay. Constantly. Yeah, it, it, it kind of is the march running. And maybe he is the critical thing we could look at to EG. Do we, how, how much does Chaos Knight need 
before he can start fighting strongly against Bonanski. Crit at the moment almost feels like the hand the Greyhounds are chasing. You know he's, they're gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah, because what other item's gonna help him, really? Like, yeah. BKB's not gonna win them a team fight. Heart is just not a possibility at this the game. Yeah, they need that initiation. Right now, they're still trying to play the counter initiation game. Waiting for Moon to initiate in, but there's gonna be Jazz. Moon jumps forward, finds the plug, and then the one's still in a good spot for this one. But with the global silence, all EG Duke can do is back up for a second and hopefully to buy him long enough. And they're going to Jazz will fall quickly. Arteezy found the target, combining up with Samael, but now Diffuse the Blade is on Monkey Kick with the Wukong Command, holding three EG heroes in position. It is a complete disaster in the tree line. Oh. Even the Yule Scepter oh. cancelling the exit from Crit. What do you do? You die. I could do this all day. I already feel confident about it. So EG will try and catch him off guard by smartly running into the smoke of Vineski. There's a quick rock up. They don't see anything. It's the Moonlight Shadow protecting EG. The arrow perfectly connects up to the clockwork with the Tower of the Global Silence. It won't really matter because already EG is doing the damage inside the ship. But how strong is Ice Ice Ice? Not that strong. Crit not easy. Surviving, Moose jump back in again, but Mushi, so much life, so much damage, EG are pushing up the Davies, and the Aegis Immortal will burn, but GG, well played, it's probably the shortest game of the day, 25 minutes, and Vineski have firmly shot their boot up the EG rear. That was one of the cleanest games I've